Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man, and I'd just like to say hello to everyone. And thanks to all my subscribers, because I'm basically up to 700 now, which is quite amazing. So I'd like to thank all of you, and just a little shout out to my mate, Cropsy2008. Uh, yeah, just wondering um, how you're doing, buddy, because used to be obviously one of my first friends on um, here on YouTube, and it's just some awesome videos, and got me into quite a lot of labels and stuff. And yeah, he's been very quiet lately. He did their uh, message and come back sort of short time ago, but yeah, haven't heard anything for a while. Hope you're okay, mate, and you're doing okay. Yep, so that's Cropsy 2008. Hope you're well, buddy. Now, before I start, I uh, have to warn you about one of the <laughs> worst films I've picked up for a long time. And this is from Pamland. Thank God it was only a quid. Haunting of Valley Rose. This is an absolute pile of shit. Absolutely terrible film. It's supposed to be set in the 50s in America. But it's actually shot in the UK. And stars um, Lucy Benjamin, who's in the crap fucking TV show here called EastEnders. It's a soap opera. Yeah, this is one of the biggest piles of shit I've ever seen. You can tell it's shot in the UK. Uh, it's just a big stinking pile of shit. About 10 minutes watch to this. Absolutely crap. Total shit. So yeah. Less than all about that the better. So right here we are. Got a few pickups. And first off got this from 88 Films. This is number 21 of the Slasher Classics Collection. And once again I have to say this was a total pile of shit as well. I don't see why it's in the Slasher Classics collection. It's not a slasher film. I don't know why it's got that cover there with the skull and all that. Basically, we got this weird little girl who spies on her mum who's a prostitute in London. Shagging these men for some whatever reason. She keeps spying for the keyhole and she gets killed, the mum. And it's like 15 years later. And she's this weird woman who lives with this guy and it's got some of the worst dialogue. You should see the scene where they go into a pub, she does, and um, asking about a job. It's some of the worst directed and worst acted and lines I've ever seen in a film. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, and basically she's with this bit of a bastard of a bloke and she meets this architect. And basically, um, yeah, she goes out with him and then she goes out as a prostitute as well and here was a guy and then it's a story about her and this guy and yeah it's just one of the most boring films i've ever seen as well it's, it's nothing happens in it it's absolutely terrible see that's the other name of it there double jeopardy so that's the alternate artwork which is basically exactly the same as that with a different title and the banner gone but yeah oh this film's terrible it's the worst in the slasher classics collection by far i don't even know why it's in this collection yeah absolute shit basically as well it's um there's a trailer reel interview with the director who basically says this is a favorite film he's done i don't know why because it's absolute shit the boogeyman wasn't exactly great but it was better than this yeah it's of course we got an interview with the cinematographer as well it's it's, it's absolute crap luckily it was only nine quid uh didn't rate it all. It does look a little bit better when they go to America, but it's just it's just a pile of shit really. It's not a slasher film. So that's that. Now much better was this one here. La Bella Colmitra or Mad Dog Killer. This is the um, a slip cover you get exclusively on their um website, Eight Your Films website. Yeah, this is uh, number 16 in the Italian collection. This was much better. Oh, shit. This was actually much better. I did actually enjoy this. Yeah, there's this um, gang, the escape from prison. And basically, um, he gets this woman here and... Yeah. He basically takes her as his own sort of thing. And basically, yeah, it's about her double-crossing him and then the cop going after him as well. That's the cop there. Yeah, it's really, really good. And Helmut Berg is absolutely brilliant in it. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. Very violent and the right bastard ears and that. Yeah, I liked it. Moves at quite a good pace as well. It's pretty well made. Yeah. I actually enjoy this. I actually recommend this one. Mad Dog Killer. 
like the Italian collection. There's a few more of them, these series coming out soon. So yeah, and there's a yeah, really really good film. Really enjoy this. That's the limited edition slipcover. Sold out now. Yeah, it's not the best slipcover. It does seem look pretty cheap to me. But yeah, you know, if they're available, I do actually, you know, I do actually like them. So I pick them up. A lot of them now got limited edition on the back as well. This just looks pretty cheaply done. But yeah, yeah it's there. I'll get it. So that's it. That's my um, 288 films that I got. Also got some more Arrow, as usual. I got this one, um, 52 Pickup, Roy Schneider. I actually haven't seen this one yet. It's um, still sealed. But yeah, I like Roy Schneider. Makes some pretty cool films. It's directed by John Frankenheimer as well. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed about that. Yeah, it's um, got a few special features on there. It's got a commentary by um, critic Glenn Kenny and Doug Brod, recorded for this release. Hardcore cameos, a guide to the many cameo appearances by pornographic actors in 52 Pickup. It's been pretty cool. Practical trailer and reversible sleeve. Yeah, so not a lot of stuff on this, but yeah, I look forward to this. I'll watch this later. I like that cover as well. It's pretty smart. Just like that. Also upgraded this from Arrow as well, the initiation. I got this on the um, Amarodrome label as well that it released a few years back. So yeah, it's a pretty good film. Yeah, this is, um, it's got a New Order commentary by The Hysteria Continues, which I must admit, I do really love their commentaries. It's got Sorority Saga, a brand new interview with writer Chris Pratt Jr. Pledge Night, an interview with actor Christopher Brady. Dream Job, a new interview with actress J. Joy Jones, extended scene, trailer, screenplay and production schedule, reversible sleeve as well. But I like this one because the other sleeve is basically the um, Amarodrome one. So yeah, I look forward to watching that. I'll probably watch this one with the commentary later as well. And finally got round to getting the Tumor Ligia, another Vincent Prize Ed Graham and Paul one. So yeah, I watched this one last night. And yeah, I liked it because it was uh, mostly shot on location in, here in England, which made it look good. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good film as well. Yeah, so it's basically Vincent Price and he's basically pining for his wife who died, but is she really dead or not? Yeah, it became really, really good because yeah, he gets, he gets married again to this other woman who basically looks a bit like her. And that, yeah... And then basically, is her spirit coming back or not? Is she dead or not? It's really good. Yeah, this one's got an um, audio commentary by director and producer Roger Corman. And also an audio commentary by Elizabeth Shepard, which is pretty good. So yeah, it's got interviews as well with cast and crew members and that reversible sleeve. So yeah, it's a pretty good film. I like that cover as well. It's really cool. Pretty trippy. Yeah, so that's the Tomb of Ligia. Also, uh, pick this one up as well. It's called The Horror Network. <laughs> I love that cover. That's what made me get it. I don't buy that many brand new £7 films anymore on DVD, but I love that cover as well. Got the slip cover on it. Yeah, it's another anthology one as well. So, yeah, it's five different horror films on it. I haven't actually watched it yet. So, yeah, I look forward to watching this one. There's no special features on it whatsoever. But yeah, this actually looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'll give that one a go. If anyone's watched it, let me know. I love that cover. That's freaky as fuck, isn't it? Yeah, and last up from um, Pick Up From Poundland, I got this one, Columbiana. I remember seeing the trailer for this. It looks really good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I actually look forward to watching this. Yeah, I'm not afraid. Yeah, she, um, she's a nine-year-old. She sees her parents get murdered. And then basically 15 years later, she turns into a hit woman and basically goes after them. So, it looks good. It's got a picture-in-picture -picture commentary on it, making up in a trailer. So, yeah. Still can't believe you can pick up Blu-rays from Poundland, which is pretty cool. And this one does look like a pretty good action film as well. Yeah, so, um, that's it so far. Uh, if anyone's seen any of these, have any comments on it, let me know. So I do want to know whether that's any good. I might watch that tonight with the wife. When she gets in from work. Yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and Cropsy 2008. 
Hope you're okay, buddy. Yeah, leave your comments below, and don't forget, everybody, keep it horror.